Hello, Hello everyone, and my soul again. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Eleven Foot Pole, a tale of high adventure. My name is Glenn, and if you want to get in introductions on all the characters and all their players, you're going to have to go to the previous episode. We're in the middle of an exciting cat fight here. We can't be bothered with your lack of information about our sh about our show. When we last left off, uh, Canyon that came with you, and Canyon. What, what canyon number two? False. I don't remember how we how we were differentiating between Grand them. Canyon, not, not, not so Grand, Grand canyon. canyon. Right, right, right. Grand Canyon and not so Grand Canyon were facing off uh, with the party caught in the middle. Both sides are like, she's she must be a doppelganger or some kind of illusionist, which I'm an illusionist too, but I'm a prismatist. Anyway, they're both doing that routine, and I rolled initiative and uh, I won. So here's what happens. The not so grand canyon uh, is going to use the move part of her action to flee down this hallway that she came out of. She turns, grab with her staff, her raven jumps off her shoulder and flies with her, and she runs back into this room. And she's like, stay back, all of you. That's not how she talks. Stay back, all of you. I warn you. I cannot be responsible for what happens if you come into this room. Whereas Grand Canyon is like, it's a trick after her. And she's going to try to lead you guys uh, down this hallway. She stops about here and looks over her shoulder. Uh, what about the rest of you? What do you guys do? As we recall, the, the referee had given us reason to suspect the Grand Canyon at possibly not being what she had uh, had suggested before. You remember incorrectly, the referee did no such thing. Uh, <laughs> Veritan just noticed her um, her urgency. Her bitch side came out. Whoa, okay. <laughs> oh, All right. Hey. Uh, but yeah, you know, she, she, came on, she came on a little strong. Not wrong. Yeah, she came on a little strong when she was like, don't give her a chance to speak, destroy her kind of thing. So that did happen. She looks back up when she looks back over her shoulder. She sees Thorgus just shaking his head and like, uh, nope. <laughs> 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 what about the rest of you? Hmm. So the lay of that room is uh, how big, how big a hallway is she going into? I mean, like uh, it's about 10 feet wide. Oh, so yeah, there's no 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 trapping her in there. That is her. Matt, you want to see if she actually knows who this person is, or if there's something that's happening there? Yeah, I mean, I, I'll ask her. She probably won't tell me, but I'll ask <laughs> Grand Canyon. <laughs> okay, use, what do you I'll say? Use Grand Can ask Grand Canyon. What do you say? Tell us what the real story is. You tell us what the real story is. You seem to know who she is. You act like she slept with your husband. <laughs> roll a um, roll a save versus spells, Matt. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. I want it higher, good. right? Yeah, you want to roll that number uh, or higher? Nope. I did not. Um, Anytime it has to be higher, I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, wants, Matt wants to use the optional lower than rules. Right, 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 right. <laughs> um, okay, she comes walking back over. So, so this is the table full of food, and this is the bed. Um, she comes walking back over, and she's like, um, I, I'm sorry, it just startled me when this person appeared who looked exactly like me. I mean, surely you guys can understand, you know, it was unexpected. And um, I I felt sure that, you know, she's some kind of doppelganger or something. I mean, they can read minds. They're, they're evil creatures that try to take people's places. And down the, down the hallway, you hear a voice echo, you're the one who's a doppelganger, honey. 
Has <laughs> <laughs> anyone in our party had any uh, run-ins with doppelgangers by any chance? Uh, not at, not not in lived. So, but but it's interesting <laughs> because doppel. I mean, this kind of goes along with I think the doppelganger kind of thing. Like you mentioned that the food and stuff. Did you say it would disappear? Um, if if we if we tried to touch it or move it or eat it, like it, it's only there. No, if, if, if we left, if she take, if we left yeah. the room with it, it would disappear. We could eat it. But, yeah, but that's what I mean. That's kind of like a. It seems to me that that's similar to what a doppelganger kind of does. It's like it, you know, it's it's a fake, temporary sort of illusion, right, of, of something else. Well, no, I'm a prismist. No. This is prismist yeah. magic. So phantasm okay. magic has elements of reality and elements of illusion. A doppelganger right. physically changes its shape to yeah. mimic an innocent person um, who it can there then take the place of, who it can then take the place of it it's um, it's foul flesh can uh, uncannily change shape to look like anyone, you know. And Got and it. the next time she comes around the corner, she could look like any of us. Okay, so I've got an idea. Are you asking what the rest of us do? Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna reach in, and I'm just <laughs> I've got I've got a vial of um, holy water. I also have um, garlic. <laughs> I got holy water and garlic. Got holy water, garlic, wolf's banes. Uh, just yeah, yeah I got, okay. I got, I got, I got this stuff right. So, veterans, mm -hmm. um, veterans. Now, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to turn her. Let me do that. You're gonna try to turn uh, Canyon. I'm gonna That's try to turn. Him. Yeah, I'm gonna to try to turn the canyon that's in the room with us. Okay. I mean, that's, uh, she's, that's suspecting Jason that she's undead. I'm not saying that that she is. I just want to see what happens. Nothing. Right? So, nothing. Nothing bad seems to happen. She seems hurt. She seems hurt that you don't trust her. Um, okay. So like turning would be like so it'd be like I'm pulling out my cross. Right? Yeah, yeah. You and pull like, out your even star. Yeah, you got to pull out your yeah. even star and shake it at her and be like, "Back, foul creature." And yeah, she just looks hurt. Oh, creature. Okay, yeah, yeah. So that's my position. My position with her is, hey, I'm not so sure about you. Back you, creature. Right. Okay. And, you know, I tried to turn her. That didn't work. Okay. The voice echoes down the hallway. You and that tramp are free to go wherever you want. Just leave me alone. <laughs> and this kid. But the only like, way who out. Are you calling a, who are you calling a tramp, Trollop? But the only way out of the room is the direction she ran, right? No, no. There's another there's hallway, two. remember. There are two hallways uh, yeah, two that, that hallways. go out of this room. Hey. We haven't really investigated the beds or anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should do that. Like, start poking around the room. Okay. Baritan, Baritan investigated him as soon as he walked Grab in. Grab a bite to eat. <laughs> easy, uh, easy, 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 strange stuff in dungeons, did, boys. Did anybody investigate the beds, the tables, or anything? Um, everything seems to be a hundred percent real. Which Canyon explained to you it would. So there's a there's a fancy bed on a carpet. Um, there's a table covered in food. The food seems real. It smells good. Um, uh -huh. everything checks out. There, you try to take some of the food out anything, of the room. Is the carpet like? Is the carpet a throw rug type carpet? I mean, can we yes. pick it up, make sure that you know, look under, make sure there's no doorways or anything like that underneath the carpet. Okay, you do that. There's no, there's no, uh, there's no trap door under the okay. carpet. Well, I'm not going to take it with me, but I'm going to, I'm going to eat one of those uh, dessert things. <laughs> I'm okay. <hungry. laughs> All right. You eat a delicious. Uh, Candied fruit, whatever that is. Mm. Oh, it's a it's a <laughs> uh, it's a caramel apple. 
Yeah, you pick up a caramel apple on a, on a little that's, stick and get, take some bites out of it. It's that's good. the only thing that came to mind. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the only one it's that a came delicious to caramel <laughs> apple. Make a save versus yeah. death magic. No, I'm just messing with you. You don't have to make a save. Um, <laughs> There's no chance you make a save anyway. Uh, right? no. <laughs> okay, so our options are really that we go after this lady down the hallway down the or we tunnel. kind of turn our back on her and go down the other hallway and then she may get us from behind, right? Very, very I, I feel like no, it's, no, 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 no. I feel like it's I feel like it's much <laughs> too dangerous to leave this shapeshifter here alive. She could she could come up behind us and take the shape of one of these innocent halflings. That's not wrong. We've we've just got to rush in there and and you know she she kind of she kind of uh, comes up to Veritan. You know you just have to have to be brave and just rush in there with your manly man strength and just destroy it. <laughs> I shouldn't even call it a herd. Any, it's a creature. Any one of our, would any one of our party, halflings included, know anything about doppelgangers to where we could do something to this person in front of us to find out if they are, in fact, a doppelganger? That's what I was trying. Uh, yeah, doppelgangers that's what are not undead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, JP, roll a d20, and you have to get a 18, 19, or 20. Got a 15. Okay. No, nobody knows. I mean, they're called they're called Dopplers or Doppelgangers or Shapeshifters. They were in the second season of The Witcher. But as far as anybody knows, there's no, like, Test of Silver or Garlic or anything like that. Like, those are all other, like... Werewolves are shapeshifters, and werewolves, if you press silver against them, it burns them. But right. nobody knows if that works on doppelgangers. Are there any uh, rocks on the ground, like loose? Oh, sure. All yeah, right. yeah. Let's, let, let, let's take this, well, gentlemen. I will throw a rock yeah. at Canyon. I'm going to throw a rock at Canyon. Like hard yeah, enough to hurt her or right. just see if it... Maybe she'll change form if she takes damage. Yeah. Okay, so you're doing it hard enough so to early. Whoa, 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 roll. Whoa, whoa, an attack. attack roll. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 17. 17. Uh, she, okay, so you you throw a, a rock at her and it hits her in the shoulder and stuff. and Her back. I threw it at her back. Okay. You throw Great. a rock at her back. It hits her in the back. Um, and uh, she turns around and she's like, what was that for? She does Cut. not. I just shrug. Are hmm. you unhinged? This is a, you know, this is a serious adventure, not a hobbit walking party. Okay, so we, we the question is, do we think the canyon then, who is with us right now is the real saying. deal? It's the, the real thing. Down, hold on, hold on. Down the, uh, down the hallway, uh, uh, you hear, you hear the other, you hear the not so grand canyon, like, um, Oh, um, you're, you're the, no, you're the one that's an inhuman creature, thunder thighs. Okay, go ahead, Darren. It really comes it. down to, we, do we believe this girl who's with us right now? Uh, or is she just latching on to us with a story about being somebody else so that she can take out this person? Lady or somebody else, some other priority here right. in the dungeon. It means nothing to Thorgus. She's just some random person that was in a room by themselves in a quote unquote dungeon that has no business being there by themselves. So it's a little suspicious. Yeah. If you can't trust a total stranger hottie, um, you know, that's <laughs> you immediately attracted to you. If you can't trust a honey trap in the middle of an abandoned dungeon, what is the yeah, world coming to? I don't know where you guys learned to play D&D, &D, but if you can't trust the smoking hot girl who just instantly wants to team up with you, who can you trust in this yeah, world? But evil, evil, yeah, but evil can look good, look fair, but feel more fouler. Mm. Mm. <laughs> what if... What if so Matt, are you suggesting um, you feel her before we go any farther? Is that what you're, you're <laughs> suggesting? Because I don't know how that's going to go. <laughs> What if we personality wise? What if we what if we're like, hey, 
let's go in after her. We're right behind you. Right? <laughs> right. No, she 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 wants you guys to go in, she wants you guys to go in first. You know, no, you guys I are the, we, uh, we I'm do, sure she does. We gotta be you guys are the Let, frontline fighters. Go it. Let's go ahead and go down the hallway and see where it leads. Let's take. Don't, we don't this. necessarily have to. Yeah, yeah. we don't Matt, necessarily let's keep have her to right behind you and me. Matt, Matt, you and I go in the front. Let's keep her right behind us. Yeah. No, no, no. Let me do this. Yeah. If you guys are going in the front, let me take the rear and have her last. Is that her fair? behind you? Yeah, but I kind of want to be walking backwards. Right. Dorgus and the halflings will be in the back. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah, sandwich her between yeah, sandwich her between me and Thorgus. Okay, and Matt, you're in front for love. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be in front for love. <laughs> it was my idea to get between the women in the first place. <laughs> Always a very sound strategy. All right. Um, what were you saying? Never mind. Watch back to north side. All right. You guys come uh, down this hallway in this order. She's standing here and she's next to this big, um, a two foot tall violet glass prism. Um, from which she has just removed a velvet black cover. Uh-oh. Uh, as soon as you come into the room, Matt. Yep. <laughs> you must save versus spells. You really want to make this save, Matt, or you're going to be playing a halfling. I'm sure I do. Can we just for the sake of sport go ahead <laughs> flip that number he wants to get so he has to roll lower? <laughs> no, it's not how it works. Oh, I can tell from his smile what he rolled. Yeah, I can too. He's toast. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm playing a half one. <laughs> All right. Um, any creature of human size or smaller that gazes upon the crystal is sucked inside, save versus spells to resist with all its belongings. So uh, you are sucked huh. into the crystal and like um, General Zod at the beginning of the, oh, nice. of the second nice. Superman movie. You're like inside now, pushing on the crystal, looking out. So Darren, <laughs> old Karis just sees him like, like get like vaporized <laughs> and just like sucked in by something. Terry <laughs> got a piece of licorice sticking out of your mouth. You're like, eh, you. tough, <laughs> tough luck for him, huh? I'm gonna take a step backward. <laughs> you hear, you hear, uh, not so grand. Uh, she's like, I tried to warn you, I can't be held responsible. Go away and never return. All, hey, easy, honey. All you got to do is give our friend back, and we will leave this hallway. Um, I don't know how to safely release anyone from the from the prism. Um, in fact, that's the reason why I'm why I'm down here. I'm trying to figure out how to release my husband from this thing. You and your doppelganger yeah. friends. We've got a prismatist with us. Is there a way you could throw a sheet over that thing? And she we, might be able to come take a look and see if there's a way to undo it? We didn't you say anything freaking, about safely. You freaking moron! I'm the prismatist! The person with you is a doppelganger! You're a doppelganger! <laughs> how do we know this? How, how can we tell she's a or it's a doppelganger? Can you um, help but give us something to prove you are who you are? Thorgus, keep an eye on her before she turns pass. on you. Yeah. yeah. She's like, uh, yeah, yeah. Grand Canyon is like, 
No, Veritan! Don't listen to her! Don't trust her! Her words are poison! Hey, wait a minute. She's got a bird, right? Ravens, yeah. Uh -huh. You know, don't, don't stab the bird. Well, no, I, I'm thinking here, right? A doppelganger is a doppelganger, but can it doppelgang a bird? The one they both off. have. The one they both on, have birds. The one that says she's real. They both say they're real. The one, <laughs> one in the room, one in the room. The bird flew off her shoulder. The one with us, I don't think the bird has left her shoulder. Right. And are they? The, were they That's identical correct. birds? Yes, they're identical birds. They're just ravens. Hey, JP, take a picture of uh, of uh, Danken's character sheet. Or Dankin's stats. Take a, a picture of Dankin's stats with your phone and share it so Matt knows what his uh, what his starting stats are. Um, I'll get those to you. I've got to I've got to find them. Okay. Right. Uh, one of one of you has got to give us something. Or, or, or Matt, you could. Marina. Matt, you could start rolling them up. Uh, roll three d six down the line, and then you can switch one set of stats. Halflings, halflings want good decks. Sorry, Darren, what'd you say? I'm like, ladies, one of you has got to give us some clue to unravel this puzzle, or we're gonna gonna have to get desperate here. Well, here's the thing: our our prismatist back here didn't want to go in first. Seems to me that she kind of knew what was around the corner. Oh shit! That's a good point. Yeah, I don't know that. Um, I don't know she's who she says she is, man. Jason, JP, why don't you grab right. her and see? Did you know what was in this tunnel? No, oh, I'm gonna. Jason, Orgus is gonna stop, put his. Stop. Orgus is stop, gonna put his. Stop. Stop. When Karis suggests to Neroth, why don't you grab her? Mm -hmm. She shapeshifts. Oh boy. <laughs> Uh -huh. Into her natural form. Yeah. <laughs> and she grabs you and tries to wrestle around so that no one can tell which one of you is you. Who we're gonna roll, me? Yeah. We're going to roll opposed strength checks. Roll a d20. Uh, You're trying to get as high as you can while still getting under your strength. Well, I'm trying mean, to get under... Yes, okay. we're trying to get as high as you can while still getting your strength or less. I rolled an 18, so I failed. As long as you don't roll over your strength, you're fine. I rolled over my strength. You rolled over? Sure did. Okay. Would you, like, would you like Matt to roll for you? We're ineffectually <laughs> wrestling back and forth. Um, but do it again. at least for now... Uh, everybody can tell which one is which. Uh, Thorgish, you're right there. Do you want to take a swing at this doppelganger? Absolutely love to. <laughs> 14. 14 is the magic number you hit. Or, uh, Warhammer blunt damage. Mm-hmm. How many? We'll yell at that. Four. Four? Okay. We'll yell at the halflings to bit. You're going to yell at them to what? Your voice is kind of cutting out. Bit. Can anybody tell what he's saying? I'm just hearing the end of the word. It. 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 Oh. Get it? Okay. Uh. So, right. help, 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 help me a moment, guy. Do they both look like Thorgus right now? Yes, they do. Nairoth. They both Nairoth. look like Nairoth. 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 Sorry. They Sorry. Both, both look like Nairoth. Um, all right. Uh, JP, roll, uh, roll a couple D20s on the table for me. You're trying to get a 15 or better. Two of them? Yes. 14 and a nat 20. All right. Uh... Roll 2d4. One of the halflings throws his lawn dart. Four and a four. Oh, my God. Nice. <laughs> Jeez. All right. 
One of the halflings throws a lawn dart and it 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 bounces off of uh, Neroth's armor, but the other lawn dart lands in the false Neroth's uh, shoulder plate and goes right into it like it's flesh, and the false Neroth cries out in pain. And uh, uh, not so Grand Canyon, who isn't even named Canyon, uh, <laughs> says, "What's happening out there?" Her name's Marjoram, by the way. That's her real name. I don't know that. We, we've exposed We're the just Marge. Marge. I told Marge. you! I told you that bitch wasn't me! That's not uh, how she talks. I told you that bitch wasn't me. Um, she, she can I take me. a shot at it? No! Okay. Let's roll for initiative. Uh, <laughs> Naroth, <laughs> it's gonna be you. Yeah. If she still, if she took damage, does she still have me? Are we still wrestling? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. You have to beat a I two. A I got All a right. six. What you got? What are you gonna do? Let's go. Finish her off, JP or Jason. All right. Both so, of you. Um, yeah. If I can, I'm gonna try to uh, bring my mace up under her chin. All right. Uh, JP, you attacking too? Yes, I am. Roll your d20s. I got a net 20. There no, you, you didn't. There Roll you your go. damage. Roll your Let's damage. Get after it. So that's two eights, right? Yep. If we're lucky. On a mace. Yeah, it would be cool. I got 10. She had seven. Nice. Well, yeah. it. Good it shot. Seven. Good All shot, right. JP. Right. You guys kill the a doppelganger and it does return to its natural form uh as it as it hits the ground um now what do you guys do well uh the whole prism issue <laughs> is there mm. any way yell to yell yell to marge is there any way we can come into the room without uh, being sucked into the crystal <clears throat> Um, do I have your words? You're not going to try to harm me? Yeah, fine, sure. We gotta get mad. <laughs> uh, you'll forgive me if that doesn't sound particularly convincing. Well, if you don't, like, find yeah, a way, sure. <laughs> if you don't let us come in and try and find our friend, I can guarantee we are gonna get angry. Um, don't like us. And you won't like us when we're angry. <laughs> okay. I've got this cloak. You can just kind of drag over it. Well, I had this. Uh, I had this black velvet over it, but I took it off uh, because you guys were about to bum rush me. Put the black velvet back on. Um, Let me say. What? I'm not going to hurt you. We're the good guys. We're not here for this. We just need our friend back. All right. She puts the cover back on. She's like, come in. But, um, but I warn you not to betray me. My magic is considerable. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's real convincing after you ran away. All right. Well, so what are we, what are we dealing here with, lady? What what is this crystal? As I told you, this is a prism of life trapping. Uh, the whole reason uh -oh. I'm in this dungeon is my husband, who's also a prismatist, um, is trapped inside, and I'm researching the crystals here in the in the grotto to try to figure out how to release him safely. Um, what what know, have you tried? Well, I mean, it's a little bit complicated to try to explain to a person who doesn't know magic. Unfortunately, the only person you know that knows magic is in here now. On the, on the inside. Um, oh, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We have another party that knows magic, and he's in my girl. backpack. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't matter. He's in my backpack. He's in my backpack. 
Oh, so now I'm useful again. Well, we do have a deal. All right. Um. All right. So the skull and the prismist mm-hmm. start talking jargon to each other. You know, magic okay. user jargon. What could go hey, wrong? Matt. Hey, Matt. <laughs> Yo. Look up here. Uh, I'm going to have you choose evens or odds, and I'm going to roll this D6. If, if you guess right, uh, the skull and the prismist are able to figure <laughs> out how to safely extricate you. If you guess wrong, then we go to plan B. All right? Evens or odds? That's where you get aborted. Evens. Evens. Yeah. A four! Woohoo! Yay! All right. Um, <laughs> so, so Jason the Skull is like, all right, I'll help her, but you owe me one. <laughs> and then they oh, talk boy. jargon a little bit more, and she's ready to try to break open the crystal and release everyone inside. Um, (laughs) But she warns you, um, there could be other, other beings trapped inside besides her husband and, uh, yeah. Your elf. Very thing. That does make sense. Quite a copy of things. Like the quantum verse. So oh, listen. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I, I do it. Nairoth does want to take a defensive position in preparation of whatever the hell comes out. Yeah, let's get the halflings back in the other room. <laughs> Thorgus and the halflings are. Oh, never mind. <laughs> and then let's get ourselves, you know, to a safe perimeter there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Whatever that is. <laughs> Thorgus, uh, move Thorgus up a little bit. <clears throat> All right. Murph at the ready. Interesting turn of events. We specialize in that. Right? Yeah, we're like the Frog Brothers from Fright Night. Wow. Lynn has not seen. Wow. That is a deep drop right there. That is a, that is a deep cut, Jason. <laughs> yeah. They, Sorry, they have I a have not. Yeah. No, we did. That's a great movie. Mm-hmm. Fright Night? Let me, let me. Yeah, it's a great soundtrack. Yeah. So she, um, she gets out her, she sets up all these crystals so the light is shining on this thing just so. That many you have in your other hand, can you can put that down. Ah, you, you noticed that, did you? Um, she gets all these crystals <laughs> set up. She says the incantation. She has this little, uh, little jeweler's hammer, you know, with the little tiny chisel. And she closes her eyes mm-hmm. and she pulls the cover off and she dink hits it in just the right place and it breaks apart. Her husband, uh, falls falls out on the ground. Your elf falls out on the ground. And this, uh, this uh, creature, which is called a homunculus mass, it's like a whole bunch of homunculi uh, discarded that have all fused together into a sort of a mass. A giant friendly homunculus bass. Oh, right? far from it. <laughs> far from it. Appears in the midst of you. Um, picture like all the uh, all the evil gremlins from the movie Gremlins all piled mm-hmm. together to form like a semi-humanoid shape. And just the face is Gizmo, the good, the good gremlin. And he's like, oh no, oh no, the whole time. Uh, yeah. Let's roll for initiative, Matt. You're uh, you came back to life yet again, yet again. A brush with death for your character. You have to beat a two. 
Come on, Lazarus, do this for us. <laughs> Four. Four. All right. Sweet uh, God in heaven. All you guys it, can attack before I get to go. Make it count. It looks like we're we're all melee weapons. I'm taking it. Uh, yeah. Unless you wanted hard. to have your bow out, but yeah. Basically, weapon of your choice. Wow. First choice. I missed horribly. I got a 15. 15 hits. Uh -huh. Got an at one. At 20. What? All right. Roll that damage. Nine. Okay. Two and two is four. Terrible. All right, so you guys lean into it, especially old Thorgus with his axe. You guys start hewing at this thing. Like, as soon as it forms, it's kind of this sort of smoke comes up, and <laughs> three three things appear out of this thing, right? Your elf, this, this guy who's half unconscious, and this monster. And before it even finishes forming, you guys are hacking into it. Um It lashes out with two tendrils against the two people who harmed it. Uh, Thorgus. That's Ooh, a, a three on the die. It's yeah. not going to do it. Uh, Karis. Karis. Ooh. Uh, 16 plus three. Say what? Oh. My armor class is oh. 15. So, yes. You take... Five points of damage, and you have a tendril of homunculi wrapped around you. Your arms are pinned, and it starts to pull you in. Hmm. Good thing you're so close. I can swallow you whole next round. <laughs> All right, boys. Uh, uh, Marjoram tries to... Uh, um, Marge, Marge runs over to her husband to see if he's okay. Uh... Uh, Next round, Matt. Roll for initiative. <laughs> Two again. Six. Okay. Six. You guys can finish it off this round if you're if you're if you're lucky. Nine to hit. Nine misses. Twelve, Twelve misses. Twelve. 14. Twelve misses. Fourteen hits. <sighs> Six. It's bad hurt, Thorgus. Missed. All right. Was there a part of Small of Me Hole that said no one else should hit? Oh wait, this wait, guy? wait, 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 Darren, you can't, you can't attack it. It's, uh, it's got you yeah. tendrilified. You have to make a strength check to try to break loose. Gonna... So you want to roll a d twenty. You want to get as high as you can without going over your strength. I only uh, got a five. I a, I Sounds a made up to me. I but a 12. Is that less than your strength? Yes. All right. Okay, so you break free this round, but you can't attack it. Okay. I'm back up to that. Um, hey, hey, JP. The whole game is made up. Okay. <laughs> Um, uh, I'm going to use my tendril attacks against JP and Darren again. JP, I miss. I cannot get a hold of this dwarf. Darren? Dwarf oh, agility. gosh. A natural one. Ah, sickening. Um, all right, but maybe I can win initiative next round. Matt? I got a one. I got a two. <laughs> All right, guys, finish him off. Come on. Nope. Twelve. JP, you're the last hope. Oh, sorry. It's a miss. <laughs> Four misses. Quality miss teamwork there, guys. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> All right. Um, Marjoram is going to make herself useful 
<laughs> and try to cast a spell on it. Um, Never mind. Oh, she sucks. <laughs> hey, the doppelganger um, is useful. <laughs> uh, she just casts magic missile at it. She does the minimum amount of damage that magic missile can do. Uh, and we're rolling for initiative again, Matt. Wait, did I attack? Yeah, but I missed you guys. Rolling for initiative again. A five. Mm. Three. Excellent. Now I'm going to try to get Darren and Marjoram. Marjoram? Oh. You grin. She is grappled. Oh, Darren, a 19. That's going to hurt. Two and five is seven. Are you down? No. Okay. No. Third level. All right. Um, Shit. Wow. Uh, Marjoram's got a 16 to hit. Marjoram is on her last legs. I guess got a 16 to hit for seven. That days. hits. How much? Seven. You kill it. the homunculus. Nice. Um, the homunculus mass. And uh, splatters and mass goo all over Veritan. And no, no, no. It, it breaks apart into a whole bunch of individual gremlins that all go running down the hallway past your halflings and everything to appear in Gremlins 4, Gremlins Take Manhattan. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> Marjoram thanks you profusely, and her husband, uh, who... You feel like either uh, either Marge is younger than she looks, or there's a little age inappropriate. There's, there's a there's kind of a, a what do you call it a May December romance December, going yeah. on here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So her her husband is kind of an old gray bearded uh, guy, and you know she's a young curvaceous, um, curvaceous. man killer. Yes, curvaceous man killer. Absolutely. Um, but they are both um they can't they can't thank you enough for helping them. And uh, you know, she's been this has been her quest for, for years to get him freed, and the help of your sarcastic skull and your bravery uh has resulted in in uh him finally being saved and she's kissing all over him. And he's like a little bit um, disoriented, but you know, he's glad to finally be free after all this time. And see, she suggests you guys take a, take a rest with her in the, in the illusion room and kind of uh, regain your strength and everything. You guys accept? Seems like a good idea. Yes, it do. All right. So if you if you rest in there, you get your level in hit points back. If okay. you if if you're hurt, you get your level in hit points back. Um. She. <clears throat> oh, her husband's name is Maribund. Marjor Maribund and Marjoram Griver. Um. Where is all of her riches? Oh. She doesn't have riches to thank you with. Um, <laughs> but she has a plus two dagger with a rainbow glass blade and a cast iron hilt. 
Oh, she has a belt pouch with 50 PP. 50 platinum pieces. Uh, hey. She is willing to pay you 40 of those 50 platinum pieces and give you the dagger plus two. You guys are loaded with magic daggers. You guys are like the yeah. kings of magic daggers now. Guess who can't use a magic dagger? <laughs> who takes the dagger <laughs> and who carries the platinum pieces? Hey, what up with the staff? Wait, who takes the dagger and who carries the platinum pieces? I'll, I'll carry platinum pieces. I've just kind of been putting that stuff. Okay. Who, together. who, who takes the dagger? That's got to be me or uh, which one of you is not the clerk? Yeah. Baritan? <laughs> yeah, I can take it. Okay. Who has the, uh, who has the crystal dagger? Yeah, to get to Matt. Okay, you now have a plus two magic dagger. It does D4 on damage, but you get plus two to hit and damage. And I assume you ask her about the dragon. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so ask her, hey, what about her staff? Because Not magic and her staff? No. Uh, they both would have one. It's... Uh, it's uh, it's just a staff that sh that sheds light, like it's not a, it's not for attack. It's not a magical, not a magical item. No, it's only magic when she casts light on it. So it's her focus, okay? Yeah, exactly. Um. Okay. Experience so points for the. Yeah, the, the, the dragon. And the doppelganger. And you don't have to split the uh, homunculus mass experience points with your followers since you left them in the next room. Right then, I guess. But only if I can find its stats. Pause. Uh, so Marjoram tells you uh, it is definitely a Tazel Vern. Uh, it is a a winged bipedal draconid with the face of a lion, uh, and she thinks it breathes like an acidic. Uh, Jason, the look on your face. Are you frozen or are you just skeptical? Ah, he must be frozen. Um, He's frozen. <laughs> he can't make that. He can't make that face normally. <laughs> he just looks like, I don't believe a thing this lady's saying. Um, <laughs> she says it's definitely a tasel verm. Um, it can come and go through the, uh, there, there's a, there's another entry to the river that it can come and go through. Ah, welcome back, Neroth. Yep. Um, what was our total experience worth? I can't hear him. Uh, uh, 74 total. 74. That in, does that include the doppelganger? Uh, yep. Total. Okay. All right. So um, she says it breathes acid and it can come and go through a, um, there's another entry to the river further down. And she thinks it like flies out to the surface to go hunting and stuff. But she doesn't know anything about what its treasure is or if your book is in the treasure. So does she think does she down the other right? hallway? Down the other yeah, hallway? She knows, the go? she knows down the other hallway. She knows where its lair is, is down past this. Um, there's a room with like a mineral hot springs. And then beyond that is the Tazel Verne's lair. Tazel van. Tazel van. You can't have your pudding until you eat your Tazel van. Oh, Can you have any pudding? Last night. <laughs> all right. Um, that's all they know. They're going to head right. back that's out. That's um.
She mentions uh, that uh, bathing in the mineral pool in the next room is very relaxing if you're naked. Mm-hmm. Relaxing if you're posed. Just gonna check out my Rasputin vibe if I get naked. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to see your Rasputin. Nope. <laughs> All right. What are you guys doing now? What, what is everybody's hit point situation before you head off? Yeah, and, Glenn, uh, I was just thinking, I've got some sallow parsley. I'm thinking about, I get plus two hit points when I rested. If I could have taken that uh, before we sleep uh, for the night or for an additional two hit points. Or maybe your cleric could cast uh, Cure Wounds on you before you all go to bed. Yeah, so so we didn't get hit points restored. Oh, we haven't actually done the sleep, is what you're saying. Yeah, but you only get your level in hit points back. Oh, you don't actually get the points. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. This isn't like 5th edition where you get all your hit points back. But you could cast yeah. your healing spell on him before y'all go to bed. Yeah, so um, so let me ask you, um, so do you have a healing potion at all or no? I don't have a healing potion. I have some herbs that uh, boost when I, go to, when I get rest. Oh, okay. Yeah, so no sweat. Um, let me uh, cast the Cure Light Wounds on you. Okay. Because in and theory, then... you'll get it back tomorrow, right? Yes. That's okay. why we're going to cast it. <laughs> um, did you lose me, Thargus? Nope. We're with you. Uh, we got you. Okay. So cure Light Wounds is... What, what, what is that... Um, what's that return on there? Six... six or eight. Uh, that's what I'm trying to find right now. Cleric spells, page seventy six. JP, you can't hear Jason. That's weird. I went to my log, log to off my and log back on. Because the rest of us can hear him. Yeah, the rest of us can hear him. One d six. No problem. It's one the one that fell off. One d six plus one, Jason. One d six plus one. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, you got five plus one at six. Okay. Where does that put you? If I do that and then, and Glenn, if I take my parsley uh, uh-huh. before I go to sleep, that'll get me back to full. Okay. Oh, there good. you go. And they said nobody eats parsley. That's right. <laughs> the ultimate garnish. <laughs> Remember when remember when your plate used to be garnished with parsley back in the 80s? You'd go to a restaurant and they'd <laughs> oh, put yeah. a garnish on there. It reminds me of it reminds me of a foul joke. Oh, we don't we don't want any foul jokes on this channel. Off air. Nope. Our listener our wait, listener, till we, wait till we finish the episode. <laughs> the listener is only 14 years old. That's right. right. That's right. I check the demographics regularly. All right. So uh so we're finishing up. You guys go through the, um, you guys go, are you going after the dragon now? Are you ready to go after him? Yeah. That's why we're here. All right. So you guys I'm go through back area 53. You guys go through area 53. You see the hot springs there. Uh, there's a hallway off to the left that goes out to another uh, uh, beach on this underground river that you guys have seen. And then you guys go south into Area 55. The Dragon's Larder. Larder. A crystal grotto 12 feet high, about 50 feet long and 30 feet wide. Uh, Rainbow-hued crystals along the walls. Um, As you guys enter, there's a three in six chance that the dragon is in this room eating a recent kill. Oh, boy. (laughs) That didn't break our way, did it? No. Well, I mean, you wanted to fight him, right? So, you know. I'm sure he wants the book. What could go wrong with... (laughs) Oh, that's right, that's right. You're like, we don't really want to fight him. Yeah, I was like... If we could second level our, characters fighting a dragon, what could go wrong? We could have used our library card to just check out his book. We'd have been fine. 
<laughs> hey, Matt. <laughs> did you get any hit point restoration? Yeah. I Matt, didn't did lose you? any. I just kind of got sucked into I didn't oh, lose any hit points. I just got stuck into the crystal. Got it. All right. All right. At least I wasn't told I lost hit points being sucked into the crystal. <laughs> no, 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 man. No, it was just a, you know, just a weird moment. What do you guys think? Huh? Huh? Nice. That's badass. Thank you. Looking Thank like you. that to me. I, I Hold it a little closer to the camera, Glenn. Let's see here. Well, it won't focus if I get too close. Yes, it is. It's focused. Yeah. Come on. Come on. A little closer. Dragon, you can do it. Is he a gold dragon? Or a gold that, dragon? that was just unsettling. <laughs> he has kind of a greenish. <laughs> he kind of has a greenish uh, yellow um, nice. coat or, or uh, hide. There, sir. Thank that you. Thank you very focus. much. Well, nice. it's, it's, a li- it's a little out of focus. He's got a. Uh, he's got a. He's got a barb on the end of his tail here. He's kind of got prove the, that either. He's supposed Great. to have a more lion-like face, but I loved this mini, so I was like, I'm getting it. I'm painting it. And you guys come Very into this nice. room, and he's like eating a, a deer or something that he's that he's found, and the camera pans across, and he's you know pulling pulling meat off and blood globlets are flying down. And we'll find out what happens next time. On eleven oh. foot pole. Oh. You guys are watching us on YouTube, on. or if you are, um, if you're checking out, checking us out on Stitcher or whatever, please leave us a review. Leave us some comments. It gets us uh, noticed uh, in the uh, in the algorithm. Now, uh, as these episodes are being recorded, we're getting ready to go to Gen Con next week. About half the half the crew is going to be at Gen Con. Hopefully, we'll run into Gavin Norman, get him to sign our copy of Incandescent Grottos or something like that. Um, but we will be back after, go ahead. If you run into me at Gen Con, say hi, I'll sign anything you have to sign. There you uh, go. No. There you go. I, I, I'm Can always you? available. I'm always available to our fan. That's right. That's right. All right. <laughs> Thanks guys. <laughs>